Hey, it's Nikki Thompson and you're listening to Tea with Nikki, embracing your sexual energy. And today on the episode, I am going to be talking about the beauty of rest. (sighs) Now, this has taken me a very long time to not only appreciate the very real benefits of the resting period, but also to actually give myself permission to do it and schedule it into my week. So before I get into today's episode, I just wanted to let you know that if you're playing along at home for a little while, then thank you. If you are new, then welcome. And I'm incorporating a weekly mini masterclass over on my Facebook page. So go and check that out. It's with Nikki Thompson. I will put the link in the show notes below. And these masterclasses happen at the start of every week. So go and check those out. Uh, They're a weekly one. And then every month I have a big workshop. It's a free online workshop. The one that's happening for November is happening today. If you're listening to the podcast as soon as it comes out, it's happening today, the 23rd of November at 12 o'clock. You can come on over, over on Facebook and join in. Uh, But otherwise, you will be able to catch the recording as well if you're listening to this a little bit later. So weekly masterclasses, mini masterclasses and a monthly online workshop is available for you to access and dive deeper into embracing your sexual energy. All right. So the beauty of rest. Now, today's topic really came to me because a few weeks ago on my birthday, I had a book. I'd ordered a book a few weeks earlier and it arrived on my birthday. It was just perfect timing. And it was called Period Queen by Lucy Peach. And I've been chatting about this over on social media for a little while now, but I fucking loved this book because I it really helps emphasize the four stages of your cycle as a woman, if you're a menstruating woman, but also this cycle, um, these elements of hormonal shifts happen uh, during menopause and after menopause. And these four stages of your cycle were kind of mind blowing for me because for me, I really just, I understood that, you know, hormone shift, we ovulate, we bleed, all those different types of things. But I didn't really understand the power of that and how to fully harness each of those stages. All I knew and all I practiced was I hibernated during my period. But then for the rest of my month, rest of the month, I would expect myself to be superwoman through the rest of the month. And so understanding that there's four fairly distinct stages of a cycle and they vary of of length, depending on how long your cycle is, but understanding the very real power of that resting period, it's kind of like the seasons, the four seasons, and your period is like the winter. And I would often just give myself that first day when things were quite heavy and I was very lethargic. But then, you know, if you're working in a corporate job or, you know, all sorts of stuff, you can't necessarily tailor your life to suit your cycle because essentially society is built on the male way of living which is the same every single day of the week every single week of the month every single month of the year all right but women don't operate like that and so I understood from her book the very real benefits of giving myself more rest during my period so that I could just fucking be running into the next stage, which is the higher energy stage of my cycle, which, you know, I always felt quite good coming out of my period and and felt a lot more energy, but I didn't always feel that great during my period. It was because I was trying to do too much. I would try and rest a little bit more, but I wouldn't really nourish my body as much as I really understand how I could be doing that and really... I don't know, giving more value to that beautiful stage of rest and hibernation. So the beauty of rest is essential because as women, we're trying to do all of the things all of the time. And I often felt guilty if I was resting, if someone was going to be looking after my children so that I could rest. All I would be thinking about is all the amount of shit that I would have to deal with once I was out of my rest. (laughs) 
Because generally when people offer to look after your children or a partner's looking after children, they don't see all of the things that you see and do during the time that you're also looking after children. They don't see the washing. They don't necessarily see the floors or the lunches or the copious amounts of washing and dishes and stuff to be done. They look after the children. And then when you wake up, you've got so much more to do. And so I would often feel, oh, not necessarily guilty about resting, but just feel like, oh God, if I rested, then everything's going to pile up and there's too much to do if I rest and I'll be even more tired if I don't rest, uh, if I do rest. And so this perpetual cycle um, was how I lived my life because I felt as though resting was making my life harder. But understanding the benefits of rest and when you rest deeply and uh, and properly and nourish your body during that phase of your cycle or even that stage of the day whatever it is that works for you then you have so much more energy for the rest of the time you're not running on empty for the rest of the day for the rest of the week the rest of the month whatever it is and you're able to put more into that into that space and so the whole concept here is, again, this, this podcast is all about tapping into your body, tuning into your sexual energy, your intuition, your gut, and understanding just how important it is to listen. And what we often do is our body is begging us to rest, but we don't listen. So it shouts a little bit louder. We start to get a headache, but we take a tablet and we're still not listening. So then we get sick, but we're still not listening because we take more tablets and power through. We don't listen until our back is hurting or, you know, we're so sick we can't get out of bed or, you know, our head is just pounding or our body just feels like lead and you're walking through mud. Our body is like screaming at us by this point. So the beauty of rest is understanding just how powerful it is and how crucial it is, just like brushing your teeth, just like uh, doing the dishes and the washing and all of those things that need to be done regularly. Rest needs to happen. And I'm not just talking about really good sleep at night, but also through your month and through the year, you know, having a period of time through the year where you can just rest. Um, is essential and finding out, you know, you have to really work with your own schedule to make that happen. But it's all about listening to your body and what does your body really need? Because when we listen, uh, you know, I've, I ran a workshop a little while ago and a lot of the women were, were talking about pleasure and women were like, I don't even know what is pleasure anymore. I'm like on this cycle of just, you know, same shit, different day. And we often feel as though we need time to try and work out what it is that we enjoy, what it is that we do find fun, but we don't give ourselves the time to work that out. We don't give ourselves the permission to create the boundaries in our life to make that happen. And that's the same with our resting period. Like we can't know what it is that we really want to be doing if we're so busy doing all of the other things and we don't have a rest. So that's why the beauty of rest is so crucial in order to be able to tune in and embrace your sexual energy, because it's all about listening to your body, listening to that beautiful, beautiful body of yours. When I went to, um, in October, I went on a three day retreat with my sister down at Guingana on the Gold Coast, and it was just incredible. It was so incredible. And I remember sitting there with her after we'd just been in the sauna, a uh, steam room, and we'd had like, did a cold shower, steam room, cold shower, steam room. It was fucking amazing. We'd had a massage. It was beautiful. And we were sitting up in this relaxation room. And I said to her, as we we're just sitting there in our really white fluffy robes and little white thongs, and I said, my God, I've never been more relaxed. My uterus feels relaxed. And that is uncommon for me. Usually my uterus only feels quite relaxed after a really beautiful orgasm. But this just felt so relaxed after all this, um, this space, being out in nature, turning my phone off for a couple of days and just taking care of my body. Obviously, that's not something that everyone can do all of the time. 
but it's definitely something you can do at home on a you know, monthly basis. When you do have your period, schedule out an evening or an afternoon or a morning, whatever's going to work for you to have that deep relaxation for your body because you do not want to wake up to your body screaming at you with illnesses or, you know, viruses and things like that because you haven't been paying attention. And that is one of the beauties of our cycle as a woman is that we actually have this inbuilt into us to deeply rest once a month, to have abundant energy, to be have a creative period and all of these beautiful things. So I highly suggest you do go and listen to uh, or, or down, um, get a copy of Period Queen by Lucy Peach. It's fucking amazing. She does have a TEDx talk, so you could Google that too and listen and watch that talk. Um, but she is incredible and it helped me really understand the true power of harnessing my cycle. And that's definitely something I will be incorporating on a much deeper level um, in all of the things that I do. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you would like to join in our workshop for today, which is called Feeling Numb, um, how to stop living on autopilot that's happening at 12 o'clock today. You can watch the replay if you are not listening to this podcast as soon as it comes out. So I hope you have the most beautiful week and I will chat to you again next week. Bye.